Hello everyone on YouTube, this is your home by Brian Manning Home and Beacon. Today, I'm actually going to talk to you about a movie review of Transformers The Last Night. And I, which I saw on IMAX 3D on Saturday, and I must say, that movie was awesome. So anyway, um, I, it, it's, up, it's about, uh, about, about a couple of legendary Transformer knights, and with, with, which they give a uh, Merlin the uh, the sap of life, I believe. Um, then, then, then in a few, then in a few, sir. Um, Optimus Prime was was lifted in faith, and and then and then was he was he brought was he uh, landed in in Cybertron, uh, his home planet, and and it turns out the the planet was ruined. And however, there was a a a a, rope, a, a, a transformer named Quintessa. Um, um, who, I mean, who, who actually brainwashed Optimus Prime to get the sap back, which, which made Optimus Prime evil. And just to let you know, there was, there was a lot of action and fighting, uh, just like just like all the rest of Transformers movie, and, and it was awesome. Um, um, I, I, I the only one thing I don't quite understand is that 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 I really did not like that they just discontinued Gabatron uh, from the previous Transformers movies um, from Transformers. Um, the the age of his station, I, I believe it was called, and and then they bring back Megatron. As much as I like Megatron, as much as I like Megatron, I really want to get, I really want the continuation of Gabatron because he happens to be a very good villain. I mean, I, I like Megatron and all, but but I I, I really want Gal Gabatron to, uh, to, to to come back at the at the next Transformer movie. Which happened to be Transformers: The Last Night. So anyway, I'll rate this movie a five out of five for high action, visual effects, and everything. So anyway, that's my movie review. So anyway, this is your homeboy. Bye, my homeboy. Sign out. Peace.